Hi friends, this is Dave from javacodejunkie.com and welcome to another JavaFX video tutorial. This tutorial is a continuation from our last video on the JavaFX password field. In this video, we're going to learn how to change the password mask character. In a password field, characters are masked by a bullet character, that's a little round black dot, and there's no simple way to change the character that's actually displayed. If you're at all familiar with swing, the swing J password field has a method set echo character. There's nothing comparable to that in JavaFX. I had to do some digging in order to find this, but the actual character is buried in the skin that's used for the J password and the J text field. Let's go to the code for the password field and in Eclipse if I hit the F3 key while my cursor is anywhere the beginning through the end of the password field it will bring up the actual source code. Now you see password field extends text field. There's no new functionality that's added in the password field. So where then is this bullet character? So to find that we'll go to the text field source code and I'll do a search for the word skin. Now, the skin that's used in the text field and as well the password field is called text field skin. So again let's bring up the source code for text field skin and let's look for the bullet. And here is the actual bullet character. It's a UTF-8 character, 25CF. That is the bullet. And the bullet is used in the mask text method. What we're going to do is create a new class that inherits from the text field skin class. And then we're going to override this mask text method and provide a way to change the character that's used as the mask character for the password field. Let's go to our application package, right click, new class, and I'm going to call it password field skin. It's going to inherit from text field skin. We'll browse for that. Click finish. Add a constructor. I'm going to create a private instance variable of type character. And I'll call that mask character. We'll initially make that character the same as the bullet character in the text field skin. And here we'll override the mask text method. Click OK. We'll go to the text field class, find the mask text method. We're going to just copy what's inside. I'm also just going to move that down below the constructor. And now instead of using the bullet that was defined in the text field skin class, I'm going to use the mask character that we defined up here. And I'm also going to add a method that allows us to change that mask character if we so desire. So it's going to be public void set mask character. It will expect a character mask character. And then we simply save that in our private instance variable above this dot mask character equals mask character. Save that and then back in our main.java we're going to set that skin for our password. Password dot set skin new password field skin. for the password field. So at this point, if we run, and if everything hangs together, we should get the exact same behavior as we got with the text field skin. Let's enter a password, and nothing has changed. So it's exactly the same as before, which is good. We haven't 
broken anything, let's create a new private instance variable for our new password field skin. We'll call it skin. Skin equals new password field skin. And then we will use the method that we created to set the new password mask character. Skin dot set mask character. And I'm going to use Unicode character 2615. And down here where we set the skin, we're going to use the skin that we just instantiated called skin. So let's run that and see how that works out. All right, so we're in the password field. Now, instead of the bullet that's the mask character displayed by default in the text field skin, we should have a new character for the mask in our password field skin that we just set. So let's start typing some characters. And you'll see that we have a coffee cup. And that coffee cup is the character that we set UTF-8 character 2615. Wikipedia actually has a list of the UTF-8 characters, and that's where I found this nice little coffee cup. It's a little different in the Wikipedia page, but it is UTF-8 character 2615. I'll post a link to this Wikipedia page in the description of the video below, and you can certainly have a look to see if you can find some password mask characters that you'd like to use in your applications. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing so that you don't miss any content when I release new videos. Thanks for hanging out with me again today. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you again in the next video. Until then, stay safe and keep on coding.